This is The Beast, my custom-built quad hub motor RC speed machine. Today we're at the racetrack to push it harder than ever, but will it be smooth sailing or chaos? Joining me today at Mallory Park Racetrack. Uh, I've managed to secure this place to do a bit of early trials of my B speed car. Uh, I've got plenty of space here to get up to a reasonable speed, I think. I've just got to be careful for people crossing the track down at that far end down there. But My objectives for the test were to test the traction control algorithm that comes with the VESC software test the steering dry row that I'd added, and then go for speed, insensible increments, gathering data to compare with my predictions. And uh, to let you into a bit of a secret, I wanted to get 100 miles an hour. Right, so I'm about to start the first actual development test, and I'm going to run the car with this drift sleeve to reduce the friction on this one tyre. Um, the idea of that is to assess how well the traction control algorithm works that comes with the speed controls I'm using. So firstly I'm going to run it without the traction control and I expect this wheel will spin up to quite a high speed almost instantly. Then I'm going to run it with the traction control algorithm turned on and it should limit the spin up of that wheel. So I'm going to try those things next and then, and then I'm going to choose the best setting then to go forward with for all the other testing. I'm just going to drive it around a little bit, see what happens uh, as it spins up. So I'm going to do in that direction because there's a bit more runoff in case it goes off. So I think it'll just spin up violently basically. Let's try it. Whoa, yeah, it did. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was pretty extreme. So that's what happens with the, with, uh, without traction control. So I'm gonna put traction control on and see if it makes any difference now. Let me just turn a bit of gyro gain on. See if that can control that amount of sliding around. So I've put about 50% gyro gain on. And gyro seems to help. It's pretty awesome. Is it going to get round? Yes, it is. Oh, a bit of grass. That is amazing, that is the difference of having a gyro. I'm impressed with that, quite honestly. Right, I'm going to bring it in there and uh, put the trans control on, see what that does. Just to prove the gyro was doing something there, I'll just turn it off and see if it spins again. Yeah, it's definitely more wayward without the gyro. So this is with traction control turned on. So what I'm looking for is the drift sleeve wheel shouldn't spin up as much this time. And also I'm hoping the, um, the control algorithms don't sort of overload the com computing power that it can handle and then cause the whole thing to shut down. So I thought it was best to do this at low speed. That's, that's why I'm testing it like this. So let's see. Got to arm it first. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh my God. It's not accelerating at all. That's weird. So if I give it, give it throttle, it's, de it's definitely in the same mode as before. Oh yeah, that's no good. 
It is, it is controlling it, but it's just not accelerating. That's pretty much full throttle. Yeah, that's no good. I mean, I'm not going to run it with drift sleeves on, obviously, but if it if one of the wheels spins up and it causes the whole thing to, start to suddenly stutter and stop, then it's not really what I'm looking for. I mean, it's interesting how it slowed down. Even even slowing down, it seems to have the traction control on. Well, let's, let's just to give it, a, I'll give it a full break in front of us here. So it does, it does definitely do something. I might just try it with the traction control on, but without the drift sleeve and see how that behaves. So we've got traction control on this time uh, again and without the drift sleeve. So just see if it behaves as, as it did, yeah. Oh, what is going on there? It was, didn't want to accelerate. That is a bit weird. It does not like that. I can only speculate. I think it might be because it doesn't know how fast the rear wheels are going. But it won't. Yeah, so once it gets in senseless mode, it's okay. But then what, at the low speed, it didn't really didn't like pulling away. Because it doesn't know how fast the rear wheels are going, you see. Right, I'm going to come along and... Uh, so it's not accelerating, now it is accelerating. Give it a good break in front of us. Because that was a situation that I thought the trench control might help with. Yeah, it, do, it does seem to help with braking actually, to be fair. It might, oh, I don't know what to do actually, I might, I might just run without it today. Exciting moment now. The beast car's about to go on the track with the body on for the first time, and I've opened up the speed limit of the of the wheels, so it should be capable of about 80 now. But uh, yeah, we'll find out. I say, sure, you know, based on the RPM that it's allowed to do. That's handy. The we'll almost flicked a load of pebbles on the track. That gone. That's not actually a pebble, it's an earplug. I'm just going to have a bit of a drive around while he's finishing mowing the grass down there. Lights on then. Could do a run going up actually, maybe that's the way to do it. Turn her around and go down that way. She's looking gorgeous, look at that. Stunning. Oh, I can actually see it now, which is nice. All right, here we go then. Oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> Whew. Got the heart going, that's for sure. It was just running awesomely though. Oh my God. Oh, my lights are blinking for some reason. That's not good. We're at 70.
73, ooh, that's pretty good. Might do one more run like that and then turn up the speed a bit more. It worked well going up that way because you've got a bit of extra tarmac up there to slow down. But I probably need to start slowing down a little bit earlier. I'm going to stand a little further down here, although there's a bit of a dip over up there, which... And. The ghost. <laughs> Maybe it should be called the ghost rather than the beast, who knows, but it's... I haven't got the gyro turned up, actually. Let's try. Add a bit of gyro just in case it goes awry. Oh, right, here we go then. That was flat out then. Held it flat out for a good amount of time then. It went over a bump and it didn't take off or anything, do anything weird, which is nice. I think that was the limit of this RPM setting anyway. That was epic. The lights aren't supposed to flash, but they are for some reason. All right, let's do the traditional GPS check. I think that might have been, might have been the full 80 mile an hour on that one. Stop. Read 76, yeah. Not quite. But I'll take that though. Right, ready again to run. Uh, it's cable over, over 100 now. Let's get the uh, GPS going before I forget. Right, I'm going to move down a little bit because I want to start braking a bit earlier and it'll make me, I'll start braking when it goes past me. And I'm going to start further down as well. I might go right down to the corner this time. Plenty of room to slow down here. Right, here we go then. I think that might have been it straight away. Oh man, I can't see the car over there because it goes into that dip. I think that might have been 100, but... Oh goodness, that looked awesome. Let's bring her back. I don't know, it might have been 90 perhaps. I don't think I actually hold it, held it full throttle. Let's take some building up to. Let's turn the flashy flashies off. Oh my God. Yes! <laughs> 102 miles an hour. Oh, look at that. Well, I think I'm going to stop there because it would be tempting fate to um, carry on. I'm on the cusp of running out of runway here. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should give it one more. Yeah, go on then. I'll give it another one. Here we go then. One couple more runs, shall we say. 
Light's not on, light's not on. <laughs> come back, come back. Where are you going, where are you going? So I'm going to brake, I need to brake as it goes over that bump really. And then it, I mean, it still took a long time to slow down. Here we go then. That was fast. Oh, I gave it full throttle for ages then. Yes. Yes. If that wasn't faster, then I'm going to be very surprised. Oh my God. Yes, that was a good run. That was the run to finish the day on, not the other one. Wasn't tentative, I just gave it, gave it the beans then. She just wants to go. Right, well that's the end, last run of the day anyway. I'm not doing another one now. I'm shaking too much. I think that was 110, but let's see. 109, yeah, 109, I'll take that. That's put a smile on my face. Yes! Oh, I need to do the old photo of it and all that. Yeah. Rock solid that was at 109 mile an hour. This is the stunning Clambeder Airfield in North Wales, where I'm going to be next weekend for Rossa Round 1 2025. It'll be my first chance to let the beast really stretch its legs, and I plan to give an update from the event next Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. Why not subscribe so you don't miss it? I hope I have some good news to bring you, but there's a lot that could go wrong along the way.